Tunnel. And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one, this one. Hytham, I have the codex pages you asked for. Six in total. Ah, wonderful. We have so little writing from the original Hidden Ones. This will grow our understanding immeasurably. These documents may have been inked by the founders of the Hidden Ones, in fact. But their names are unknown to us. Lost to history. A deliberate choice on their part, I think. I'm hoping these documents shed some light on that mystery. I could not say. They're written in a language I do not understand. You know, the black market merchant Reda has an old piece of writing from the same era as the Codex pages you found. Speak with him if you are curious to see it. Good to see you. This one begins. Now, this one. This one begins a long time ago at a desert oasis. Good to see you. Reda, Hytham says you have an old piece of writing from the early Hidden Ones. Oh, that old scrap? Yes, it's just a short letter from one Hidden One to another. One of my rarest artifacts. How did it find its way to you? A friend gave it to me for safekeeping. Bayek was his name. Egyptian fellow. Very kind. Haven't seen him in a long time. A very long time. Anyway, the letter is written in Demotic, so it may not mean much to you, but you're free to have a look. Now, this one. This one begins a long time ago at a desert oasis. Far away. A place of mystery. Wonder. ...and a temple to a hidden god. The guardian of this temple was a proud man, kingly in nature, but not in fact. A protector of holy wisdom. And this protector had a wife, a scholar, who spent her day... Then go in... I have to go. Then go in peace. Survey the area soon.
Have a look, Sunan. Here you are. More relics for your collection. Show me what you found. Wonderful! This should complete my collection! Valet! I wonder how Hafton fares now that he sits on the throne. Moira, is something wrong? Weep for Northumbria. Is it Hafton? Has he gotten worse? His heart is broken. He's a with Faravid lost and his brothers away. He wallows in paranoia and I could speak with him. Wandering the fields of Pitteringa with I'll find him. Thank Pitteringa is in the east.
Show me what lies ahead. Nothing but snow, silent as a corpse and it's... Stand up, Hafton. I'm taking you back to Jorvik. <laughs> up, my lord. You're a king. You're not allowed men bled and died to sit you on that throne. So go, sit. My brother, Ivar. He died fighting. You slew my brother and never said a word. It was no secret. Uba knew, did he not? Leave me. I will not. I've come to see you safely home. I... I mislaid my hammer. I think Beonton... I'll find your hammer. And then... I was on my way to Scarborough. If you find my hammer... Champion returns. I have no fight left in me, friend. But where is Loki Rabbit? The creature led me to treasure. Perhaps that rabbit was Loki after all. Of course he was. Why is everyone screaming? It's like Ymir. <laughs> Cast about this land, my Is Beontan guarding the hammer? Half drunk needs his hammer. Afton waits. This hammer is not meant to be thrown, Hafton. Remember that next time. <laughs> A 
My father, Ragnar, he gifted this. Still warm with blood when he handed it to me. I had 14 winters. Ragnar Lothbrok was a great king. A Finnish arrow killed my mother. A shield maiden she was. As my father swore to kill the men who took her from us. And he did. Fourteen against one. But that was years ago in the east. And this is the west, where my father lies dead. A pile of bones in a pit of snakes. And here we are, still telling stories of his life and deed. How did my brother die? With his hand on his axe, awaiting the maidens of the battle slain. Now he drinks at our father's side, awaiting the war at the end of days. Beelton, my boy! <laughs> Come here, boy! A dog always forgives, but he needs you home. Oh. <clears throat> Do a last thing for me. Light the beacon for all to see, and let it burn. Bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. Did you know Bishop Ilfrith? No, but I plan to write an epic poem of his grisly demise. Oh, poor Ailfrith, scorched of face, all your woeful companions, bold, bionid, weeping. Weeping as you are, uh... Sleeping? Oh, yeah, perfect, yes. Such a grisly fate. Did you know Ilfrith? By reputation, I did. He was no friend of Alfred's. I once had them quarreling into Witten. A sad day for Winchester. Maybe now God will reward us with a man who truly believes in him. Are you the bishop's family? God, no. Just here to make sure that impious bastard is actually dead. He bedded my wife, the randy bastard. Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. I know the burden you bear. Such a weight of sin you have taken on. And all for your brother's sake. 
I know he lives. No, he's... He said it was for the good of all. He... I am his loyal sister, and I tell you, he is dead. You hear me? Dead. Leave me alone. I cannot betray my brother. Guards, protect me! Only... We keep our wits about us. <laughs> Why will you not leave me alone? Enough of this, Cat and Mouse. Where is your brother, the one they call the Seeks? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more at the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alf- Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will- You are a damned fool. My eyes. In the past, the Sikhs must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Not priest, clerk, or abbot can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's words if they are not spoken in our tongue? Aelferth is dead, and we mourn him. But the foul deeds of the unrighteous are sown among our holy deeds like cockles and tear in a field of wheat. Education, wisdom, enlightened thought, this will raise us above the sins of our fathers. These I will demand of the next Bishop of Winchester. And so we meet to discuss all worthy candidates. By God, it's true. The Bishop... Just kill us all! Sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all. And I hated him. 
It may be Alfred's god was you failed. Alfred's god is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service from our first breath to our... My order wishes to break these mind-forged man... I am the wolf in Lamb's Pool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy man to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the old minster. Eivor may find us there when all has set up. Elfirth, my love! No! Curse you, Dane! He was not a Christian. He abhorred your god. But why strike him down? Have you no compassion for good men? We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. But this damned order, their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there.
The Archbishop never suspected my heresy. I kept secrets as I gathered believers. I appeared so pious my eyes bled for him. But I've never felt as much love for his god. Not like I do the old gods. Your life was a lie, you mean. You threw your... When I told the Archbishop my true belief, he was horrified. That silence comes for you now. Show me. If Aelfer's sister spoke true, I will find answers in the ruins. This must be it, the door to Ilfer's secrets. I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it.
Bard. Everything they did was to undermine Elfred. She lied to me. There is nothing here of the Order. I should see Elfred for my reward. Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. your chance, damn you! I did not want it. Ready, 
and Ranvi. They will want to know what happened here. had a wife, a scholar, who spent her days reading ancient tombs and deciphering the ceiling. Oh, look at you, Joey. in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The Order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred? The line between friend and enemy is a poor... Time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my... I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of... I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand, but I only ask you trust me once more. On my final voyage, back to Norway, to wish... Back to Norway? I... If you must. 
I will await your answer 